Hey everyone, it's Anime Jackson, and today in this video, I'm talking about how long an anime has to be to be considered long running. So, anime has been around for just over 100 years. It turned 100 last year, and it has had the time to get popular, popular enough where we can get longer running anime, as well as being popular enough where we can get longer running anime, as well as having more anime, where Pretty sure the Japanese anime industry accounts for 60% of the world's animation. And I really wanted to have a look at how long an anime has to be to be considered long running. Because over the years, surely what is considered a long running anime in terms of how long it has to be has changed. The public perception has changed as the years have gone by. And it's the length of long running anime that is different from a standard length of anime because you can compare the art style, the stories, you can compare everything for a long-running anime for how it's changed it's exactly the same way as a standard anime. But the length is different, and what is considered a long-running anime is different as well. So let's get to it. Now how I do see it over anime's history when long-running anime first started, it's all depending on what is considered standard length. Nowadays it is 12 to 25 episodes, that's considered standard length for an anime season. So how I am to perceive things, the standard length of anime has changed over the years. Now the term long running to me is really subjective to an individual. What I might find as a long running series, someone else may not. It's all determined by what we personally think. There was one stage where most people thought was considered a long running anime had to be over 100 episodes. 100 episodes or more. And you're talking like Astro Boy when it first aired. And that was in 1963 and it got more than 100 episodes. So we've been getting 100 episode anime for a long time. And well, yeah, okay. They are very long series. They last for years and years and years. And it's great that they've been able to achieve that. But times have changed and I'm not quite sure if the public perception has changed along with them. And that's not a bad thing. It's not. But hear me out. So while in recent years, let's go with the late 90s to 2010, we finished Dragon Ball, we got One Piece, we got Naruto, we got Bleach, we've got some Fairy Tail, and that's just naming a few. There's plenty more anime that we've actually gotten that has lasted over 100 episodes. Nowadays, we are seeing shorter anime seasons. And along with that, we are also seeing less anime that are getting over that 100 episode benchmark to be considered a long running series. And to how I see it, we might be looking at maybe 50 episodes or a year's worth of content. So Black Clover is going to have 48 episodes and I'm picking Black Clover because it's the most recent example that has come across of it's just going to be one continuous line of episodes and it's going to have enough episodes to fill up 48 weeks. So that could be considered a long running series because this lasted for a whole year. How many anime in one single run nowadays do a full year or close to a full year? And not many. Like outside of children's anime, we don't see many anime that make that benchmark. I reckon that if an anime gets up to 36 episodes, it's in a funny grey area of it's not exactly long enough to be a long running anime but at the same time it's not short enough to be a standard length anime and it, it does come down to the personal opinion of the viewer of if it's a long running anime or not anime in that funny grey area i reckon that a good example was death Note. it had i think off the top of my head it had 37 episodes so it was in that strange spot of it was longer than the normal series but it wasn't too much longer. It only lasted an extra seasonal block longer than what the average anime did. Whereas you got anime like Soul Eater, Formula Elko's Brotherhood, Black Clover as I mentioned beforehand, where they actually lasted for two full seasonal blocks longer than what the average anime did. So surely some of these anime that we aren't going a long running anime because they don't reach 100 episodes could be considered long running anime because they actually last in a lot longer than what other shows are. But then what about anime that don't do continuous runs and have breaks in between seasons but still rack up a hell of a lot of episodes? And I reckon a good example of this is Gintama. Okay, its first season had a good run, it ran from 2006 to 2010. So it had a few hundred episodes. But then it took a break, and in total now there are seven separate Gintama anime, which is going to cover the whole story eventually. And in that time frame, there's been two full year seasons 
and two just single seasonal block seasons that Gintama has had and however long the current arc is going to go for as well. So surely with anime like that, like that get a fair few different seasons and they have breaks, can be considered long running. Okay, like I said, the first season of Gintama could be considered long running. But what about the other six? Are they considered long running? But even anime that's go with Bakuman, it got three seasons. It was the manga was done by the same people as the Death Notes, and it has seventy five episodes in total. It had three twenty five episode seasons. It had seventy five episodes in total. Why can't that be considered long running anime? Like the total number of episodes are a fair bit. So as a franchise, why can't Bakuman be considered long running? Okay, it's only twenty five episodes off that hundred episode benchmark where the public still sees is needed to be a long running series. But as a whole, Bakuman has lasted a lot longer than what some anime will ever get so yeah like as a franchise why can't it be considered long running like okay it has had breaks in between its seasons but where's the harm in that it's like with Boku no Hero Academia it's going to have its third season if it ain't airing now it's going to be soon but it's going to have a fair few episodes in total the same with Shokugeki no Soma it's going to have a lot of episodes in total heck even High School DxD is going to have at least 48 episodes in total after its fourth season, or pretty close to it. That there, High School DC is going to have practically a year's worth of content in four seasons, and it's taken a few years to get to that, but it's still gotten to that point. So how come these anime can't be considered long running? Like, 48 episodes is two full seasonal blocks longer than what the average anime gets. Like, the amount of anime that actually do get a second and third and a fourth season, especially a fourth season, is a rarity. Like, to finish off this video, personally, I do find that if an anime has at least a year's worth of content, well then, it's up for debate whether it can be considered a long-running series or not. To me, personally, it is a long-running series because it's got a lot more content. But that's just my opinion. I'm curious to hear what your opinion is. Where do you think the line is drawn? What would you consider the minimum number of episodes for an anime to have to be considered long running. And if anime like Boku no Hero Academy and Food Wars and Bakuman can be considered long running even though that they had breaks in between their seasons. But in total they've got a lot of episodes. I'm really curious to hear what all of you think. So let me know in the comment section below what you think. But anyway that's all I have for you for this video. Thank you for watching I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more content by me, then check out my channel. You might find another video or two that I like to look off. Or consider subscribing to me. It'd be a great help to me and all of you get to stay up to date for when I upload more videos. Again, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next time in the next video. See ya.